Imagine getting an email just a day before your wedding and finding out you no longer had a photographer or videographer. To make matters worse, you already paid for the services and wouldn't be getting a refund. Kelloland's Ariana Schumacher spoke with a local photographer who subcontracted through the company that suddenly shut down and finds out what it means for her business. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Sarah. The company we're talking about was called Glasser Images. Couples in a handful of states, including South Dakota, would contact the North Dakota-based company to get videos and photos of their weddings. Glasser would then hire local photographers and videographers to shoot the weddings. They would send the files back to Glasser, which did the editing and sent out the final project. Clients were spending anywhere from $1,500 to $6,000 and were told they would not be getting that money back. This promotional video shows what every bride and groom dreams of the perfect dress, a beautiful day, and a photographer capturing stunning images to document every moment. Katie Nutledge is one of those photographers. She quit her full-time job to shoot weddings for Glasser Images. Less than two months ago, the North Dakota business suddenly closed. It freaks me out to think I would have moved to Bismarck, which is like three hours away from where I live now, and a month later, the company is gone. Nutledge didn't know if she'd be paid or what to tell her customers. I called a, the couple that I had in Fargo for that next day crying because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I could legally go um, and shoot their wedding because I was no longer working for Glasser. Glasser didn't exist. But this couple is sitting there like they have a wedding photographer. It's the day before their wedding. What would you do? What could you possibly do? Other customers were still waiting to get photos from past weddings. So they actually have nothing because they put so much trust and faith into glass images covering their memories. As Nutledge still waits to get paid, other photographers worry that Glasser's reputation may leave couples questioning others working in the industry. So now, you know, as a whole, other photographers are painted badly and there's no trust there. So we have to work as hard to reassure them, no, we are reputable, we can help you. We're not going to do what they did. Local photographers are still trying to help those affected as much as they can. Some are offering discounted rates. Some are trying to, um, you know, try to hook them up with other photographers who they know available. All to ensure they have the picture-perfect wedding day. As of Thursday, a lawyer representing Glasser announced that people who already paid the company, at, or who already had the what, company at the wedding, will be able to download their photos at no cost for one year but clients do not know if these are the edited or raw photos.